TitleMatchNetwork.com. Memories of your feud with probably one of the greatest workers of all time, Kurt Henning, for yep. the uh, AWA title. Uh huh. We had some great matches. The the, the 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 I'll tell you what, the hardest match I've ever had to wrestle, and the Kurt had to wrestle was when him and I wrestled in Minneapolis, and Larry Henning was on the ringside and Vern was on in my corner. My God, each one of them is screaming at at, at us, do this, do that, do this, don't sell that, don't sell that, you know. And I'm yeah. going. We finally, I, I, we just, I said, hey, just forget what they're saying. Let's just do, the, just go with what we feel. Did you see the potential in a young Kurt Henning early on? Oh yeah, yeah. I have trained Kurt. What led to the angle where Jerry Lawler came in and defeated Kurt for the uh, AWA title in Memphis? Oh man, that's bad. That's a bad taste in our mouth. Jerry Jarrett wanted to buy us out, and uh, my dad didn't want to sell to him. And he, he said, "Well, the NWA would never give Lawler the title." If we work together, and we're going to work in this USA thing, could we put the title on Lawler? So my dad agreed to it, which was probably the worst thing we ever did. Uh, business-wise or? Both, everything. Politically, business-wise, business-wise especially. He didn't mean anything in our area. He didn't mean anything nationally. He was a big star down in Memphis, but did nothing for us. Um, so when it was time for him to drop it, what had happened was we had this pay-per-view where he Super wrestled. Clash. Yeah. The deal was Vern would pay his guys, Jarrett would pay his guys. If there was any profit, they would split 50-50. We didn't have any profit after they paid the rent and all the publicity that they had to pay for and all that. Vern paid his guys. Jarrett never paid his guys but told them that Vern was supposed to pay him. Typical wrestling. Yeah. So then Lawler never showed up to drop the belt. Hmm. Who, who, how did that hurt the business? I mean, obviously it... <laughs> well, I, I mean, it, it hurt, yeah. but, you know, not as much as people would think. I mean, uh, if, if Lawler would have been over as much as he thought he was in our area, then it would have hurt us more, but... Memories of the night, uh, Lawler and Kerry? Yeah, it was a good match. I mean, it was a good, good match. Kerry was... Kerry and Jerry was Jerry, you know. They did their thing. Whose idea was it to put together the uh, pay-per-view? Was it Jarrett's or, or was well, it Dad's? Or it was, my, well, we were going to do it. They, well, they would convinced us to do it. Let's do a big pay-per-view, Super Clash, all these, you know. Because you guys already did the Wrestle Rock. I right. Think. Yeah. Yeah. And it just, it didn't have the impact because we weren't strong enough nationally with the talent that we had. I mean, I guess that's the easiest way to say it. Yeah. We brought in some talent that was over uh, Ronnie Garvin and, and Von Erich. I mean, everybody thought, oh God, the Von Erichs are known all over the country. Well, they really weren't. And Lawler wasn't known anywhere but out of his area. And, stars and we, weren't, we weren't known uh, in their areas, you know? So uh, there wasn't really an attraction to bring it all together. We couldn't get everybody established well enough to be doing that. Speaking of uh, Ronnie Garvin, I believe Super Clash, you won the uh, TV title from uh, Ronnie and, and you feuded with him a little bit. You, I think, won the belt back by count-out as opposed to Garvin losing since he was heading to the WWF. Why was that? Was it, I don't think we knew he was going to the WWF. I think he, we thought he was still working for Barnett. Okay. You know, and my dad and Barnett were good friends. And Okay. Memories of uh, winning the AWA TV title tournament against uh, Adrian Adonis. Adrian and I used to have fantastic matches before he got to be 300, 400 pounds, whatever he got to be. Yeah. But he was still good in the ring. We still had a good match. And uh, he, he, was, he, was, he was one of those great, great workers that I don't think got the credit he deserved from a lot of people from a lot of promoters and, and wrestlers within the business unless they worked with him. He was phenomenal.